you're beautiful, Anne. Sometimes I look at you and you're so beautiful, I want to cry. And sometimes you look so beautiful, I want to laugh and jump up and down and run through the streets with no clothes on, shower and pretend you keep a bang. In people's letterboxes. But mostly, you're so beautiful. Even if it does make me cry, it makes my chest cry. Your lips are the most beautiful. Second is your nape, the the back of your neck. It's turned nape. And your skin. When I walk past your desk, I breathe in on purpose to smell your skin. It's the most beautiful smell there is. It makes you feel dizzy, giddy. You smell brand new. You look brand new. All of you. The little soft hairs in your arms. But mostly, it's your lips. I love your lips. That's why I've always wanted to kiss you. Ever since 3B. Just kiss. Not the other things. I, I don't want to do the other things to you. Well, I do all the other things. Sometimes I want to do them so much I feel I'm... Do you have violin lessons? On the violin. Well, on the violin there's the E string. That's the highest pitched and it's strung very tight and taut and makes a kind of high, sweet scream. Well, sometimes I want you so much, that's what I'm like. I always wanted to tell you you were lovely. Personally, I always think it's dead weedy when Victor Mature or what's his name, Stuart Granger, or someone says a girl's lovely. But you are. And I know girls think it's weedy when boys call them sweet. But, but you are. I don't suppose I'll ever kiss you now, in my whole life, or take to the pictures, or marry you and do the other things to you, but I'll never forget you, and how you made me feel, even when I'm 51 or something.